Hello everyone, my name is Helen and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I am so glad you're here. My channel is all about scrapbooking, card making, and paper crafting. So today I have for you a Halloween card using MFT's Halloween Who. And I am going to um, participate in a moon, mood board challenge for Not Too Shabby. Um, and the winner of this challenge will be... Um, become a guest designer for November. Now, if you're interested in seeing the challenge, I will have the link posted below. I believe the deadline to post your entry is on the 12th. So I'm coloring with my Shinhan alcohol markers, and these markers are fine point. I do have a few that are brush tip. And so if you see me using a white um, marker, that's because it's a brush tip. So I'm going to go ahead and play some music and I'll be back once I'm done coloring. I hope you enjoy the coloring process.
So here are all the images that I colored. I went ahead and pre-cut that and pre-colored it so that you guys don't have to watch me do all that stuff. So now we're going to do some ink blending and I'm going to take my crackling campfire and I'm going to blend that on one half of my card base and we're making a slimline card and then I'm going to take H aged mahogany and I'm going to blend that on the other side. Now this is my first time making a slimline card and I've seen so many videos on it and at first I, was, I wasn't I was crazy about slimline cards but then the more I saw people on YouTube create projects with them the more I started thinking to myself, okay, maybe I should give it a try. And you know what? It's not so bad because, you know, it fits in a regular sized envelope and, you know, oh, sorry. I went ahead and took some black soot and then I'm going to, I blended the outside of my um, card base and then I'm going to take my MFT cloud stencil and I'm going to go ahead and put, blend that with some, um, black soot as well and I'm kind of obsessed doing clouds right now because um, I just like the effect it gives and so yeah so anyways back to what I was saying earlier um, it kind of took me a while to hop on the slimline bandwagon but now I'm glad I did because um, there the possibilities are endless you can fit more stuff on it and I just, you know, I just like it. So I took my Kuretake um, watercolors and I picked like this really golden yellow to splatter all over my background. And then I'm going to take some of my dilution, Dilusions white paint and I'm going to um, splatter some of that on my background as well. And then my daughter let me borrow her Kuretake white um white oh gosh watercolor and I splattered that as well so I I don't know if I overdid it but <laughs> I like how it turned out and then now I'm just gonna emboss my sentiment at the bottom with some white embossing powder and I make I made sure that it was dry before I did this um but the top part of my card was a little wet but I got lucky with the bottom you know, because I was like, it looks dry enough, so I went for it. And so here you see me, I'm just drying the rest of the card to make sure that um, I don't smear anything. So here's the results. I really like the shine that the uh, Kuretake Golden Yellow um, watercolor did. It's called number 903. That's what it says. So now I'm just going to place my um, branches and owls and clouds to where um, I think is pleasing to me. Um, I wanted to incorporate all of the owls in my in my card because, um, well, one, it's five, which is odd. Um, I hear a lot of crafters say, you know, do odd <laughs> numbered stuff so I'm that that always stuck with me and now I'm just placing my clouds to where it's pleasing to my eyes and I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that with my Tombow glue and then I noticed it was like puffing up a little bit so I took my acrylic block and I'm just gonna weigh it down with my acrylic blocks and I'm gonna work my way around the card um, and place it on my card. Now I know I did not mention in the beginning of my video the items or stuff that I used for this video 
but don't you worry about that because I will have that listed down below or on my blog and I will have links for those and if it's not available I will just um, mention that as well but I'm pretty sure everything's available like as far as like the stamp set because this was MFT's um, Halloween or fall release this year and um, I'm very confident it's still available. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm popping up um, the owls with some dimensionals and I'm not popping all of them. Now I thought about putting like three pumpkins on my card and I did color three pumpkins but then when I put them all on each branch I kind of felt like it was too much. So I opted with just one pumpkin and I'm really happy with that um, decision. I was actually texting my husband. He teleworks in the garage and I kept texting him pictures of this card and I was like, what do you think? Is it too crowded? And he was like, I like it. But, you know, my husband... <laughs> Like, if you're not, like, a card maker or whatever, like, I don't think you'll notice all the little tiny details. But um, when I showed him, like, just with the one pumpkin, he was like, oh, yeah, I like that better. So it's like, okay, are you being honest with me? Like, are you just saying you like it just because, you, you know, because you like it? I don't know. It cracks me up. But, yeah. So now I'm just going to place my last owl at the bottom and then I'm going to take my glitter brush and okay so I kind of squeeze the glitter brush too um too much and it's it like I overdid it with the pumpkin so you can see it there like the glare of the glitter is just so overpowering on my pumpkin but I was like you know what just keep going you're already committed and it still looks good so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I post a new video I will see you on my next video bye